Yo, it's your boy Mr Box Office from Mr Box Office TV, back with another video. Tottenham 3, Brentford 1. Good result, good performance. But we're going to break it down for you right now. Tottenham fans look very, very happy at the moment. It wasn't looking very good, first minute. And Burmo scoring, letting the goal, and that's it. It was a very, really, really bad goal to let in. Kulu letting in, again, giving away a ball. Then uh, Lewis Pot, Potter coming into the box, crossing the ball, and then Mbermo scoring the goal. 1-0 Brentford, and there was uproar. Uh, I was sitting there with Stelios, and I was absolutely angry about it, the goal. Because it was just something silly that happened. One thing I will give credit to Tottenham, though, they kept going. And in the combination of Brentford being silly in possession at the back, Tottenham pressing, and I did say Tottenham do press very, very well. I'll give them that, at least that. We got some chances. Madison had a chance, missed his chance. And then a few, game, few minutes later, Madison got the ball from Tottenham pressing, then puts it through to the goalkeeper Flecken parries it and Solanke gets his first goal. Quite an easy goal for Tottenham, very nice goal to score for his debut. And Tottenham Hotspur on the front foot. And let's be honest here, we absolutely dominated Brentford. Tottenham had chances. Tottenham dominated with chances because Tottenham, Brentford were giving away chances at the back. And because of that, Son had a chance. Johnson had a chance. Madison got through as well, certain times as well, which was even more annoying as well for, for the Brentford team. And um, Tottenham Hotspur really didn't really take their chances. Again, showing again why I don't rate that front three. Again, Son, for me, looked like a striker again where it needs a little bit of help because he's, he's, he's not the same. He's, he's not the same. The Son that I remember was a guy that was good to score outside the box. So there was times where he got into the, the right areas, but then he was passing it, thinking about it and doing things. And the old Son would just get the ball and just shoot right in the back of the net. And he just kept on missing every single time. There was one chance that he had a chance and he, he got through and he just, he hesitated. And then Flecken was able to just get back and the, everyone, all the Brentford players were able to get back. Johnson got through a few times as well, even though, like we said, wasn't good enough to finish his chances and that's it. Thing is, I ended up eating my words because Johnson does, goes down the right-hand side and then takes, his, takes on Collins, goes inside the box and this actually puts a really good shot right into the bottom corner. It's quite an impressive goal for him. But then I was sitting there saying, OK, great, you've done that. Let's see what you do next time. And what, what did you do next time? Well, we have to move on. We'll, see, we'll talk about that later. Spoiler alert, not very good. Let's just say that. But, um, but then Tottenham Hotspur, it was kind of then Tottenham Hotspur could have gone on to score more goals. We had chances to score more goals. But Tottenham Hotspur didn't take them. Brentford were there for the taking. We did have chances in terms of Madison getting through a few times. We were, we were possession, we were all over them completely. Tottenham continued to dominate Brentford. But the problem was, top, Brentford went down the other end and Burma went down. And when Burma went down, there was a little bit of a stottish. They went to speak to their manager, consulting their manager, and then Brentford started to get into the game. It was kind of like they just had a little, a little bit of a pep talk, trying to give them a little bit of a tactical, tactical thing that uh, the manager was say, looked at Tottenham, because they looked at Tottenham and we were, were really pressing them really, really, really well. Unfortunately, Brentford started to get comfortable a little bit. They started to get into inroads, and that was when Cavallio got through again for, to, for, for Brentford. Pinching the ball, then finding, finding Mbermo, who just came back from an injury scare. And then Mbermo, unfortunately, 
put it straight into Vicario's hands and that's it. And that was kind of it for the first half. Tottenham Hotspur looked like the better side for me. Pressed very well, should have been more goals up, especially the chances we had. Kulu got through a few times as well, but he just didn't shoot. That was the thing about annoying Tottenham for me. For me, yes, we played good football in terms of passing it around. It looks good on the eye. But for me, it, it, it has the same problem for me. Our wingers are not good enough. Our wingers are just not good enough. Son, for me, wasn't, just wasn't the guy that could dribble past players. I think that's what we had. We didn't have that magic just to go past players, and that was it. And yes, it's good enough for Brentford. Yes, 100%. But when you talk about top teams, they're not, they're not fearing our, our wingers. And again, Solanke scores one goal, but did I see him most of the game? No, that's the problem again. So yes, good enough for Brentford. We should have been more goals again, Brentford. Second half, the same thing, dominated the game. Absolutely dominated the game. The only thing that, that I've noticed is that Brentford was starting to get used to the way that we we're pressing. And that was starting to get worried for me because then Tottenham Hotspur were missing chances. Kulu again missing a chance, which was one of, one of those things that was annoying to me as well. Getting in the box again, too precise, which was annoying for me. Then we get to the controversial part where Vicario, it's a ball over the top and then Vicario comes out, he fumbles the ball, it goes outside the box and we're sitting there thinking Vicario, has made a really bad mistake there. Could have, should have really got sent off. Referee though, for some reason though, doesn't do anything about it. Brentford players are going mad and Vicario gets, gets away with one. One of the Brentford players gets booked and we get a free kick. We kind of got out of jail with that one. And it just shows again, even though we had so many chances, we were so, we were so prone to attacks at the back. And let's be honest here, if Whistler was playing the, the, the Brentford striker with Mbermo, I think it would have been more problems for Tottenham Hotspur, 100% in that defence and that's it. Even though we missed chances, the missed chances could have cost us mainly. Could have ended up us drawing the game rather than winning the game and that's it. And I'm going to speak about Johnson because I'm going to hear a lot of videos after today saying, oh, Johnson's back, should have never had a goal at him. He's back, he's, he's back in business and everything else. And Yes, he scored a good goal, but he sums it up that he missed his next chance and his next chance after that. Now, for me, if you're a confident winger, Johnson, you score a goal and you score another one. Then you score another one. But Johnson is just not that guy. And this is the thing. We'll see against Manchester United what happens. We'll see what against Manchester United when he turns, if he turns up, because we all know he don't turn up. He came off, he came off for Saar. Well, I think it was Basuma. And um, Tottenham Hotspur then were trying to be more counter-attacking really, because Brentford had more of the ball. Brentford had a chance from a corner. It was saved by Vicario on the goal line. And Brentford were getting into the game. It was lucky though, it was lucky because then we went broken down the other side, other end. Son again getting it into the box, finds Madison and Madison finishes off the game for Tottenham Hotspur. 3-1 Tottenham, game over and that was it. And we knew it was game over because we brought in our generational talents. Mikey Moore, Archie Gray and Burval, which shows you again that he doesn't trust them in a, in a, in a, in a pressurised game and that's it. But overall, good performance. Very good performance. Still the same problems I have with the, with the team, that the fact that we don't, we're not clinical enough. And it's only because Brentford didn't, didn't punish us when they had the chances. That's why we, did, we, we got away with one today. But we're going to see this more in, in, in further games, in top games. When the top teams come, you'll see top, you'll see top teams scoring their chances against us and that's the problem if we don't score our chances like i said and i don't think we're going to do that because the strike force is just not good enough again i looked at son today 
and Son was just not the same thing like we said before. I think for me, Solanke needs to be playing more up front with, uh, well, you should be like playing the two. Solanke and uh, Son, or Johnson or Solanke. I think that's what we should be doing. And then maybe we need to have Paul more, more up front, um, more, uh, more heads, more up the pitch, because he's the only one that can cross the ball. Um, Kudazeski needs to be in the middle. He came in the right again, which I, I just didn't, I didn't like at all. He, he does what he does. He's, he's, he's industrious. He does this, he does that. But he's just frustrating and misses his chances all the time. Doesn't want to shoot. Um, Son, again, is not a player who should be on the left. He should be up front. The midfield, I, I think we're lucky today because we didn't play anything decent today because I still don't rate that midfield. I'm sorry. There's too many times Madison was coming deep and getting frustrated. People saying, oh, yeah, he's getting frustrated. Well, what do you think? Because he's got too many players around him. That's why. So, yes, overall, good performance. Very good performance. But again, seeing the same things that I had same, seen before. And let's be honest here. Yes, our pressing is very, very good. I will give us that, definitely, that we do press very, very well. But quality in the final third is, is, is still a problem for me. Still a problem for me. And I'm not changing my mind after this game. Johnson's shown again today for me why he's not good enough. He scores a good chance. You take your confidence and you move it on. But what did he do? He didn't do nothing afterwards. Top players hit on that and they hit another goal after another goal after another goal after another goal. Gain the confidence, gain the structure, give, get the arrogance, the, the swag back in their game. The confidence to get... And that's it. And that's all I need to say and that's it. But overall, good game, good game. Um, Still seeing the same problems I had before. Van der Ven, very, very good in the system. Very, very good. Um, Romero was all right today. Adoji, good in that sense. Poro needs to be more up the field. Madison, good, good play today, but again, saw the same thing I saw before. Problems again for me. It's coming deep too many times. We're not giving him any space to create and stuff like that uh, in, 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 in the way he wants to play. Uh, Solanke, he, he gone missing. He gone missing after the, after the goal. He gone missing. I, I, I don't think he's he's going to have to do a lot more. I think Postal Coggles is going to have to do a lot more. Well, he doesn't coach for. He's not a very good coach, Postal Coggles, isn't he? So his coaches need to do a lot more to try and make him better. But whether that's going to happen when we got Europe, I don't know. So overall, good game. We good game. Good good performance. And um, we move on to Europe and then the next game after that, Manchester United, which will be a very, very interesting game. A very interesting game to see whether, because I think we'll see whether our strikers can really, really do something against Manchester United because Manchester United are up and down as well. The thing is, though, Manchester United have got better strikers than us all day long. And yeah, I'll tell you for a fact, I'll take Kumbermo right now. Yeah. I'll take Kumbermo right now over some of our strikers because he knows how to play in, in, on, on his own, 110%. I can't, I can't say for our strikers right now, I'm sorry. Uh, and, and it doesn't convince me right now that... Because if Kumbermo looks better than our strikers, that just says it all, doesn't it? He does it all on his own. And that's it for me. But yeah, good performance. We go on to the next game and that's it in Europe. And that's all I need to say and that's it. Keep liking and subscribing. And as always, if you didn't know, get to know. Support your boy, Mr. Bots Office. Subscribe and like and come on you Spurs. And I'm out.